You are about to listen to the message from Pastor Dr. Alfred Hajifowe, the General Overseer of Evangelical Christ Apostolic Church. Prepare your mind to receive from the Lord. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Children of God, I greet every one of us this morning. Happy Sunday to you all in the mighty name of Jesus. You all know that we started a topic uh, and then this month, that is the first day, the first Sundays of the month, about the hobos. And I believe that we learn one thing or two from the life of uh, Isaac. So because of these children of God, today I want us, uh, you know, I want to tell us about that uh, don't be discouraged. Today, I want to tell the children of God, don't be discouraged. If there's somebody beside you over there, tell that person that don't be discouraged. Because last week, uh, we looked at uh, the different things that we, can, we call uh, the whole boat. So, we look at it that it's a place of fulfillment, a place of rest, a place of enlightenment. Uh, so, and there are a lot of things that the uh, Bible tells us about this neighborhood that we are talking about. If you look at uh, at the time of chapter 8, 31, verse 8. So, and that Lord, He is He that dwelt both before thee. He will be with thee. He will not uh, fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. I want you to know that I see Face a lot of battle, and God gave him total victory over those enemies. I don't know the battle you two you are facing now. Maybe your own is, you know, personally, if you are fighting uh, poverty in your life, you are fighting family problems, you are fighting the depression, you are fighting suicide, you know, suicide thoughts. Because we do see a lot of people today committing suicide. It was a thought that Satan bring before them and then they give up. They give up to the problem. So don't give up to the problem of your life. Isaac could not run away. God was with him and he gave him total victory. Don't be discouraged, children of God. You know, some people, uh, you know, when they are passing through little challenges like this, they give up. Don't give up. So be encouraged. Don't be discouraged. Because God Almighty uh, is talking to you this morning that you should not allow anything that you are passing through uh, you know, to cause discouragement uh, for you. So, if uh, you, uh, uh, you want to get to your promised land, you must ignore the lives of human beings. Don't depend on human beings. Because if you rely on what people are saying, You'll be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Follow and allow the word of God to dwell in you. And follow the, you know, what God has said in his own, uh, uh, in, in his own world. Just imagine of that icing. You know, that, that, that the fact that people, you know, fought him. You could not look at the, 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 what people are saying and what people are doing to him. He faced his business and God backed him up. So please, children of God, don't be discouraged. You need to face what you are doing. Don't, you know, if you face what you are doing, you will see that at the end, enemy will bow. Because enemy will bow before I see, and we are standing the same door. My prayer that every enemy that are going to war against you and I, they will all bow in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to know that the Lord uh, is your helper. Eh? The Lord is your helper. You can't help yourself. You know what the Bible tells us in the book of Psalm? Psalm 1, uh, what, uh, Psalm 121, Psalm 121, verse 2, that says, Help come from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. So, the, that's where our own help will come from, not from man. The help of man, you know, uh, can, can finish. Like what happened to Adai and his son. And Abraham gave him bottles of water. And the water ran out. The water finished. 
that until God intervened to their matter. So, children of God, I will really help we come from above, from God, not from man. So, look at God. So, if you want to get to your own neighborhood, children of God, I because I believe that this month is a big the month of our but our own neighborhood month in the mighty name of Jesus. So, don't give up. You follow the word of God that says our own help will, will come from above, from God who owns heaven and earth. Stop make complaining against fellow human beings. Stop looking at human beings that uh, without, without him, you cannot get help. God can send anyone to you. And if you allow, uh, you know, the help of God in your life, you will never regret. And that the help of God will never finish in your life. So, you have to wait on God and don't be discouraged. Wait on God, don't be discouraged. Many people cannot wait on God. But I want to encourage you, children of God, for the living days of the year, there's, there is, there's still a lot of good things for the children of God. So don't be discouraged. Remember what the Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And, and they shall walk and not faint. So, children of God, you need to bow. You need to allow God. You need to wait for God. So, if you can wait upon Him, He will elevate you. He will take you to the next level of your life. So, don't give up. Don't give up. There's a, you know, the Word of God is giving up total assurance that God will surely fight our battle that will give us total victory. Because they have said we should wait upon the Lord. He will renew our strength. Uh, don't, don't, don't be weak. Don't be willing. God is alive. He will never uh, let you down. And he will say it again. Uh, in, uh, in the book of uh, that Matthew, chapter 11, verse 28. You know, you don't be, don't, 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 uh, don't be discouraged. Don't be beautiful rest. I don't know what you are passing through. Just hold on to that word of God, that Matthew level 28. That said, Come unto me. That's Jesus talking there. So all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. That is the promise of Jesus for you. So I don't know what you are passing through. He promised that you are come unto him. When you are passing through attack of the dream, you are passing the failure. You have been failing. And any time you lay your hand, you are not been prospering. So let me tell you, children of God, God is alive. He can do all things for you because he's a father. So, children of God, I want to tell you that God is alive. He will never forsake us. He will never let us down. So if you allow Satan to let you down, ah, you will regret it. I pray that you will not regret in the mighty name of Jesus. So children of God, don't give up. Don't give up. God is alive. And God is calling you back on you today. That come unto me. You that uh, you are having that heavy one. Not only small, no, but really heavy one. He said, come unto me. He will give you rest. So he's the only one who can give you rest. Over that, your bad dreams. Oh, that uh, debt you are holding. Let me tell you, he can show you way out. He can help you out. He can, he can bless your little things. That your own little oil and that uh, stories of that uh, a woman, the wife of the late uh, prophet that went to the man of God, that cried to the man of God that well, my husband died. And then, uh, you know, uh, he, he could not do anything. Concerning the, the people that he owned before he, he died. And the, 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 the people have came now, they wanted to explain my, my two children. And the man of God asked her, What do you have at home? And then your daughter doesn't have anything than the jar of a little oil. Let me tell you, children of God, maybe your own is little oil too. He can help you, he can see you through, he can multiply that your little oil, your little. Business that you are doing, God can 
they can, can use it to bless you, to change your situation uh, around. So, children of God, so don't be troubled. Don't be troubled. Don't allow trouble, you know, to take over your life. God will take your trouble. That, that trouble you put in your heart, stop it. Give it, give it all to God. Don't allow any challenges of this world. Challenges come, it will go. If you can, you know, be patient and you, and you give everything unto Jesus. So, children of God, don't be discouraged. When you don't discourage, God Almighty eh, will be with you. He will guide you. He will see you through. Remember what he said in the book of I, I, Prophet Isaiah? Prophet Isaiah chapter 40, verse 10. That says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy, thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. So, children of God, He has promised us that uh, He will uphold us, that we should not be afraid. So, if you really believe this word of God, don't be discouraged. Don't believe that He will surely help you. Then, you know, people, He will use people around. If we use people that you don't know, or even the people that you know, that they don't want to say anything concerning you before, he can still use them. So, children of God, like that to look unto him today, you know, he's the only one that can empower you and that can enlarge your post and that can give you rest for you to get to your own way home or two. So, children of God, you need to, you know, to obey him, you need to allow him, you need to follow follow him. So, but if you want to, you cannot direct God. Because so many people, they want to direct God in their life. They want God to do what, you know, uh, like a servant. Some people will be talking to God and say that they are talking to their servant. That if you don't do this one, uh, same on you. Uh, if you are making mistake, you need to surrender to him. If you are a child of God, surrender to him. You know, Jesus Christ, not that he cannot come uh, the angels of heaven to fight for him, but he, he, he said in this world that let your will be done. You know, children of God, God is alive, don't be discouraged, and he will give you total and victory, total rest beyond your own expectation. You know, so, children of God, I'm assuring you that this month, if you can really allow God, uh, you know, your help will come from him. I come to that uh, Psalm 121 verse 1 that say, My head uh, coming from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. So, children of God, don't be, don't, don't, don't be discouraged. If you are not discouraged, I'm assuring you that uh, you will be one of the people that will have a testimony at the end of the month and at the end of the year 2023 in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, Almighty God and Father, we thank you for who you are. Thank you for your kindness and for your goodness. Thank you because you are the only one who can encourage us. We are people who want us to be discouraged. Oh Lord, help us in the name of Jesus. Empower us not to be discouraged in the name of Jesus. I want to wait upon the Lord that he give to us in the name of Jesus. And every load of problem that we are carrying up and down, that he take away those loads in the mighty name of Jesus. Wipe away our tears. Let our life be more meaningful in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, bless us. Let your goodness locate every one of us. Let this week become a blessed week for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. Thank you, children of God. God bless you.